Bro, told y'all be down south, we don't play I told my niggas we gon' make it one You remember me? How you doing tonight? Doing well, officer. Can I see your driver's license, registration, and insurance, please? Of course. Sir. My license is right here, my wallet. That's all right, son. You remember that night in July? Hands up! Hey, 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 hey! Wait, wait, wait! Put hey, the phone down! Put that phone down! It's, right, it's, it's a phone! It's a cell phone! It's just a cell right. phone! You knew he was unarmed. Get to the car and put your hands in the air! Officer, please, he's just a kid! Pointed your gun at him. Okay, get out of the car, son. Easy. And you pulled the trigger. Put the phone away! Put the phone away! The grand jury determined that no probable cause exists to file any charges against Officer Randall. This is my son. This is my little boy. You took that from me. The world took that from me. Today we make that right. Hear me when I say this, because I'm only going to say it once. Don't stop filming. If you just give up now. Why are we the only people in this country that are expected to do things without violence? I didn't mean to kill your son. What you did. I did what I was trying to do! I just want justice. That's all I want. This is your jury. The deciders of your fate. Today, you will be tried for the murder of my son. You scared? Are you afraid? What's good, everybody? It's your boy right here, man. King Steph. Welcome back to another King Steph reaction video. If you're new to the family, new to the King Steph gang, 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 as well the King Steph family empire and the army fanatics, yaddy, make sure you smack that like button, comment below the button you to react to, as well future reaction bangers in the comment section below, as well make sure you hit that big red and uppercut that big red subscribe button, as well make sure you hit that post notification bell. So you get the latest post notification shout outs before and after video. You hear me? So guys, uh, I was blessed. I'm part of a round table discussion of very talented artists, entertainers of the new movie American Skin that was produced and directed by Nate Parker. All-star cast, Nate Parker, Marty Hardwick, Theo Rassi, uh, Bo Knapp, Vanessa Bell Calloway, Melissa, Melissa Jackson, the whole, uh, Shane, I think her name is Melissa. I can't think of everybody else's name, but I was blessed to get an advanced screening before the movie dropped this past Friday, the 15th. If you have, if you have seen American Skin, thumbs up this video. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you stop this video and go watch it. Very life-changing, very altering. And his hashtag, that Nate Parker, that I, I was blessed to actually hear him personally during this interview was change the narrative. In this climate of America, um, we have seen a lot of us as black men get murdered by the police, a police brutality from uh, Trayvon Martin, Mike Brown, Eric Gardner, Alton Sterling, Philando Castile, Sandra Chapman, Kendra Blake, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and many more of our melanin kings and queens getting slaughtered by police brutality and them getting a slap on the wrist for that police brutality like they were scared in self-defense. Um, it was very, this movie was very much needed. Uh, being a father of four girls uh, as well as a grandson. Um, yeah, man, it's, this movie really altered and changed the perspective of things. Um, I've been stopped many times by cops, but you know, I've been blessed to walk away alive and not scathed and not been harmed. But the but the brothers as I mentioned before, 
who are now on this earthbound or into the realm of ancestors haven't got that chance as well. Many more innocent souls didn't get that chance to see another day. So, you know, Nate Parker, you know, he starts out, he's, you know, he just, this is, this is a movie, like I said, he wanted, he wanted to people to see a view. You know, um, I can't really go into the interview per, per se, but I think if he actually releases the interview on his website or anything, just to talk about it, you'll see how he wanted this movie to be released at the pivotal time. Remember, we, we're going through the Capitol riots right now. We have seen the non-guilty verdict of Jacob Blake in Wisconsin. Um, we have seen not even the charges filed for release for Breonna Taylor. I think we family got some kind of money, but not all the money. John uh, Jean Bodum, the guy that got murdered in Dallas by the cop who kicked in his apartment door saying that was hers. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. And it changed my world. It changed my perspective as well, the movie. Cause I really don't want to get into the movie entirely because I really want you guys to watch it because people have their own perspective per uh, perceptions about it. But I will give you a couple of scenes so you can say it indicated some indicated spoilers in the movie. Um, the first one was the beginning scene of Nate Parker playing Lincoln Jefferson. Um, his son played uh, Qaddafi Jefferson. His son was uh, Qaddafi Jefferson or KJ. You see the beginning, they got pulled up by the cops. Uh, two officers. I can't think of one officer, but I know Bo played Mike Randall. Um, the one he took hostage, and you see in the trailer. And license and registration, that 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 whole nine yards of the situation, and his son is filming. Whereas an amendment, you can first pretty much first amendment right to free speech. You're not harming anybody. You can film. You know how some in today's world have cops have cops being filmed, even though they have body cams on and they have a camera in their car. They don't like being filmed by the public. You see what I'm saying? So you see. Lincoln's uh, nice character Lincoln pull out the license registration, say, you're an officer, take my son home from a friend's house, pulls it out, cops say, okay, Link, the registration is out of, out of date. Can you exit the vehicle? Bam, you know, okay, you have any updated? He said, don't move, let me get it. But then that's when the chaos sued because Bo's character, Officer Mike Randall, went AWOL. And you see it in today's world how a phone or you moving just to get something signifies you're a threat or they're scared and they go ballistic. Then you see, once that scene is played, if you've seen the movie, it cuts to that scene. That's one scene that got to me. But then, you know, they show the whole real scene. Like, I don't want to get into the movie because I know I'm about to draw spoilers if you haven't seen it, but you know how this movie pers persuades. Another mo another scene that, I, that really stood out to me, and I salute Nate for this, I wanted to ask him this, was the scene where you had the officer? He had the, the scene where he has the officer handcuffs. All the officers. He went to the police station. Y'all seen it? He had in the trailer. He has officer. All, all police officers handcuffed. He bought in a non-violent defendant as a jury. He was the judge, right? Theo Rash's character, I think his name was Officer uh, Officer Dominguez, represented Bo's character as his attorney, attorney or lawyer. All right. So he bought the non-violent defendant. What was crazy was one of them. You had the Hispanic, the black, the white. You had every, pretty much you had almost every brother, every person of color on the jury, um, except for one, you had a Hispanic guy. And what got to me was, you could say he could call him the cartel guy, speaking straight Spanish to Theo's character. And you see Theo Carey getting mad and pissed off, saying, you know, you guys do this to people and, you know, you want to come over this country and do everything else. Another, another right after that, you saw... The cop that pulled him over, which I can't think of his name, asked, uh, say, well, it's all you guys' fault. And you see, like, how's our fault? You play all this rap, this gangster music saying, oh, shoot that hole, kill that bitch. To me, that sounds like a cop out. And why it sounds like a cop out to me, that a rap music, music shouldn't be determined how a person is viewed, how a person is stereotyped. I can bump off, I can bump Migos. I can bump Biggie, I can bump Pac, I can bump Big L, I can bump all the old school people. So you tell them what the, what the, what the new generation to listen to now is what's going to reflect on me as a person who is older past that age. I'm 31 going on 32. These 78 year olds listen to this mumble rap stuff. 
So if my kids listen to it, I get, I, I get, I get a, attached to that to that bracket of okay, he's listening to trap music, he's listening to this this misogynistic, this f the police, this f the government stuff. We're gonna stop him and pull the trigger on him in front of his kids, just like Philando Castillo, just like Officer Eric Garner, all these stuff. Like these cats, we, we, rap music associated with us. Y'all remember the scene of NWA where, I mean, in a minute, straight out of Compton where you saw Easy e O'Shea, MC Red, Dr. Dre, outside, and the police just, they saw five black men outside a music studio to record music and get profiled as gangsters. It took Jerry to come out there, and they still didn't listen to Jerry, to get them off the ground because they thought they ran power. And that, and that got something to me, so pretty much... Music is still associated, bad, bad gangster music is still associated with us. So if anybody, so if a black person listens to classical music in a prestigious neighborhood, and you still gonna label him as somebody who's gonna still listen to trap music, you still gonna stop him? And then you hear down the line, the cops, the, the cops talking, but you hear the woman cops saying, well, women's rights have taken a hit, and it's so hard for us to get a job because women's rights. Then you talking about these here, the educational system, where this cops, I work my ass off so my daughter don't have to go to school. With, you know, with, pretty much he didn't, she, he didn't want her, his daughter to go to the public system school. Pretty much with mixed kids. The same thing what Joe Biden said about his kids, saying, I don't want my kids going to the concrete racial jungle. Pretty much he didn't want his kids going to a side with black folks and Hispanics. Mr. President Lake now saying this. So I related to that scene where people during that scene showed their true colors. How hard it is for women out there with jobs, women cop with women's rights. How Hispanic, how the Hispanic cartel member went out to Hispanic cop like that. How the white cop copped out saying gangster music, everything attached to you guys in the bracket. As well get my daughter's system. And then Bo's character toward the end of the movie saying, why do we stop you? Because a broken down car in a prestigious neighborhood because we don't, because we're trying to keep you safe. So a broke I bro, a broken down car looks suspicious. You didn't clock him at you didn't clock him at a speed. You clocked him at this. So what I'm saying is this: if I drove a broken, let's say I drove a 2004 Tahoe through an uptown neighborhood, I'm gonna get stopped. But you realize half these cats that live out in these big neighborhoods, these rich prestigious neighborhoods, have the same kind of car I got. They don't have the 2021, they probably do, it's probably in the garage, but nine times out of the 10, they driving the same car everybody else drives, 2004, 2005, cash cars because they're saving money. So half the cash, let's say half the people in that neighborhood was, were driving cash cars like Lincoln and his son that night. You gonna stop them too? If they were the same, if they were the different color than Lincoln? I think not. And I'm sorry for dancing over, but these were the scenes that stood out for me and I'm speaking in, into, into right now what we're dealing with with the climate right now. So it was the beginning, the jury, that stood out for me. And so the reason why I want people to watch this movie, I want y'all to get your own perspective of the movie. Especially, I'm not going to give away the ending. If you've seen the movie, you know the ending. The ending pissed you off, and it really pissed me off. They have a, they have a pro with the, they have, they have a con with the ending, and they try to add a pro with it to wipe away. Just like, and it just like reminds me of, uh, Dylan Roof, when he shot them nine people and they took him to Burger King because he was hungry. But the ending, you're going to see where the, where the correlation was, what I just said about Dylan Roof and this right here. You know what I'm saying? But the movie, I give the movie, man, straight up a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, 100% on Rotten Tomato, real talk if I was a critic, because uh, Nate Parker, did your thing, all star cast, brother. Um, I appreciate you so much for dropping this film. I was blessed to get an advanced screening of it. Uh, as well, my, my content creator from Rerandom TV, The Smileys, um, The Don, DJ The Truth, um, Up and Down, I think, Double Up, I think it's Double Up Down TV, um, the whole nine yards, man. Uh, I was blessed to get it, man. Uh, hope I can react to many more. I hope I can get more advanced screen of your movies. I react to many of your movies that you will drop. Hey, I hate to sound thirsty. Put me, hey, I want to be an extra in one of your movies. You dig? Let me, let me be an extra or something in the movie. You dig? You know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, man, I appreciate it, man. If you like this video, man, I suggest you go check out American Skin. But as well, make sure you smack that like button. Comment below. As well, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button once again, man. Hit that post notification bell so you get back-to-back -back alerts. As well, share it. Until next time, family, King Steph Reacts is out, man. I love y'all.
Peace.